I'm Butch Herman. I'm a local guy, born in Florence. And uh, my wife and I were married and living in Tempe when I uh, uh, was hired onto the circle. Casa Grande was a whole different world. And um, I've been coming here forever. I remember the Presbyterian Church was way out of town. The Chevrolet dealership was out of town. And the mall was right at the edge of town. The old, old mall was at the edge of town. And the road out uh, where Harbor Freight is now was the uh, co-op was there. I used to go out there on Sundays and drive my hot rod down that two-lane road there because nobody was around, you know. It was just an empty city on a Sunday morning, you know. And it was just small town, you know, a real small town those days. Oh, it was just a wonderful experience. I mean, I remember he all, we went out the back gate and he went to Choya School there and right across the street. And all his friends walked to their houses, the groups of them walk around town, you know, and just have a good time. And he was very active in everything, so we got to meet a lot of kids. They'd all come to the house. It was, it was really, you know, almost like Mayberry, but not quite. But it was, it was really good. Okay, at the mine, I, I was a mechanic, okay? Well, I went to ASU to be an auto mechanic teacher. And this paid much more than an auto mechanic teacher. So I came out here and started at the low rung, as like everybody did, and, and which is greasing cats and stuff, you know, like grease monkey. That's what I did. And over the years, I became the truck shop foreman. I stayed there and I ran crews. I had a crew of mechanics, welders, and then the trucks were running all the time. We were always worked shift work, days, swing, graveyard. But the whole time I was there, except one year I worked in the rebuild room. It was wonderful. But uh, it was, uh, that was the only thing about it was the shift work was really rough, but it was a good job, you know. Paid well, had all the benefits, and it, you know, it really helped the town move along. Oh, it was a boon to the community. Just a wonderful thing. Fast food started coming. You knew you're, good. you're making a mark on the world when that happened, you know, because that's what bringing people in did. I became the maintenance superintendent for the city of Chandler. I ran their whole fleet, you know, and uh, then my father-in-law was ready to retire, and he brought me in his business here, which was the ag business in those days. We were making it still, but we're the, there's only two independent companies left in the state, us and one down south. And uh, so finally, one day, two of the big companies wanted to buy our business. Boom, and we didn't have it for sale or anything. We said hallelujah, you know. But the thing is, when we were working summers, they were, it got hard to make money in the summer. We started, said, let's start a little RV store, you know, we could work winters there. But I worked both places. And so now we were a full-fledged RV dealership. We do everything you need for your RV. And uh, it's been good for me moving here. I came here for a Sarco and it just morphed into more and more stuff, you know, just happened to have family here. And uh, uh, we, uh, I was able to work at different things in this town and learn at both ends of the, you know, the, the ag business, the industrial business of mining, and now uh, retail business of Norris RV. So it's been quite a trip for me. We've been able to do, we're doing okay. My wife and I are ready to retire. We've been there 38 years, like I said, and that's it.